I'm Jason Hardy and I'm the Director of Risk Management for the Grand Prairie Independent School District. In November 2011, I was working as a Records Management Specialist for Grand Prairie Independent School District when I was approached by the Deputy Superintendent of Business Operations about taking over the district's workers' compensation program. I was informed that operating the program should not take much of my time and that they would financially compensate me for the extra work that I was performing. I quickly realized how much work managing a workers' compensation program would take, and I discovered that our TPA offered a risk management conference for their entities. I jumped on the opportunity of attending this conference and learned a little bit more about what was needed in April of 2012. I continued to plug along learning what I could. In early 2013, I approached my superiors in the district and shared with them an idea of making the work that I was doing into two separate positions and creating a formal risk management program. They informed me that they liked the idea and when the new employment year started in July, my title was changed and I became the first risk management professional in the district's history. However, I desired to continue to learn more about what risk management was and look for opportunities to grow professionally, which would assist the district in managing our risk. I had a conversation with our consultant who suggested that I investigate Texas Prima. It was during this time though that school districts were feeling a budget crunch and sending people to conferences were decreasing. I discovered that Texas Prima offered a scholarship program to which I applied. That conference was held at Moody Gardens in 2013. I flew into Houston, met up with several other scholarship recipients, and we traveled together the remainder of the way to Moody Gardens. When I walked into registration, my eyes were open to what I was about to experience. For the next several days, I attended classes, I met with vendors, and I networked with colleagues across our state. My knowledge increased in those three days more than I had experienced in the two years previously. I walked out of that conference determined to convince my entity to bring me back the next year. The following year, and every year since then, I have served on the Association's Education Committee and helping plan our regional seminars. In 2015 and 2016, I presented with others in educational sessions at both our regional seminars as well as at the annual conference. Texas Prima's membership elected me to become a director beginning in 2017. Recently, the district reaffirmed its commitment to risk management and I officially became the Director of Risk Management, and I'll be bringing some support staff on board beginning with the 2018-2019 school year. Due to the lessons and the networking that I have experienced through Texas Prima, the district now owns, operates, and leases out its own 504 network called Synergy Provider Panel. Additionally, the district has saved millions in workers' compensation expenses as well as shoring up an auto liability and casualty program that is now recovering money from accidents instead of just paying out. Our relationships with our vendors continue to grow stronger as the realization that it is not just an insurance product that we purchase to protect us, but rather it is a relationship that enables the district to learn and grow in ways to protect itself. Without Texas Prima and the scholarship program that introduced me to this great association, I would not be where I am today. And the district would not be as prepared for the future storms as it is now. It is because of the wonderful relationships with our sponsors that Texas Prima can provide opportunities to public entities throughout the state of Texas to discover ways not to just have an insurance program, but to develop a risk management practice. I know that as we reach out to more entities throughout the state, that tomorrow there will be someone from the city of Port Isabel 
to the County of Castro, to the Pittsburgh Independent School District, to the state prison system that will discover Texas Prima and grow their risk management program into a successful program that cares for its employees, citizens, students, their property, and overall their communities, and discover ways to create an environment where the principles of risk management are not only preached, but they're practiced.